Hello, Victor. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Victor? I'm fine. I'm so tired. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Work a lot, right? Exactly. So after the class, you go immediately to sleep, right? Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's begin with the class. Let me okay. see. Oh, we still have time. One minute. Let's let's wait for one minute. Uh, did you like the game yesterday? Ah, no, you, you weren't yesterday, right, Victor? No, no estuve en la clase ayer, ¿verdad, Victor? No, no, no. Only, only... I don't have like. Ah, no, electricity, sorry. You, you have to yes. pay, you have to pay, Victor. <laughs> no, no. Exactly. I, I know, sometimes. It's raining. It here. was raining, no. I imagine, Opa. yes. Yes. No, I remember you sent yes. a message, yes. You sent a message in the group, right? In the WhatsApp group. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I, I, I say in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I know a popa. Many places in a popa. I, I know. Okay. Yes. And where do you live, Victor? Exactly. What is the name of the neighborhood? Colonia. Eh, Nueva Apopa. Nueva Apopa. Ah, okay. Good. Exactly. Okay. Now, hey, Juan Alfonso. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening, Al Alfonso. How are you today? Fine. Thanks. Okay, good. Now, listen, uh, tell me something, Alfonso. When, when I move, uh, the microphone is still working normally. Let me see. Let, let me try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes? Yes, yes, teacher. No problem. No, no problem. Ah, okay, excellent. Because last time, la vez pasada, cuando me moví hacia la derecha, Rick. Ah, and some students sí, say, of course. Uh -huh, a, la, so, a, la, a, a su derecha. Uh -huh. Some students say, no, no se le oye, teacher. But, <laughs> but today, no. No problem. No, no, no okay. problem. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's start with the class now, okay? Now, today, no PowerPoint presentation. Only we're going to work reviewing, review, right, repaso. And uh, practice reading, right, and vocabulary. So I will share with you the my screen. Tomorrow is the last class, right? We we'll finish tomorrow. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Here, right. Tomorrow finish modulo. Yes, we finish. Okay. Basic, I mean, beginner three, we finish, right? Okay. Okay, let me see 5.7, right? Let's review the, the pronunciation. 5.7. Pronunciation. 5.7. Yes, negative contractions. Yes. We practiced this yesterday, but only watch the video. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Okay, in this case we have a uh, words or, or contraction, better say, right? Contractions that um, have only one syllable, right? They have only one syllable, right? And uh, we have other uh, contractions that have two syllables. Listen to this, this. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay. So uh, normally these words are, are not... Uh, do not, is not, does, does not, um, was not, etc., etc., right? But we make contractions, reduction. And when we pronounce them, we say sometimes one syllable or two syllables, right? Here, for example, uh, repeat after me, please, this one. Repeat after me. Aren't. 
aren't. Don't. Don't say don't, right? It's don't. Weren't. Can't. Now the two syllables, right? Isn't. Doesn't. Wasn't. Didn't. Okay? Good. Do you know other words that have one syllable? For example, nice, small, hard, right? Those are words that have only one syllable, right? And do you know other words that have two syllables? Doctor, house, hmm? table. So those are other examples of words that have two syllables, right? Uh, other words that have three syllables, for example, architect, architect, comfortable, uh -huh, comfortable. My bed is comfortable, you know? So comfortable has three syllables, right? Okay, now let's practice this together, right? Repeat after me. They didn't eat dinner because They weren't hungry. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can swim. He wasn't here yesterday. And he isn't here today. Okay, like we always do, we're going to read the commentaries. Alicia, right? Ah, okay. She she sent a, a an audio with the with the pronunciation. That's nice, right? And Abel, because of the times, we're not going to listen. But thank you, Alicia. And Abel, right? He wasn't a good player. You were in the restaurant. They aren't famous in TV. Okay. Thank you, Abel. Right. And Carolina, too. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Right. Okay. Just the pronunciation. Okay. Now, let's review the use of the simple past questions with action verbs with did. And the verb to be, was and where, right? Was and where, watch and where. Was and where, right? Okay. Questions with did, was, and where. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with... Oh, what was your major? Like we always do, right? We're going to practice the conversation again, right? Practice and practice. Here we go, right? Repeat after me, please. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. 
I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for, for five years after college. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. Interesting. That's interesting. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Hairstylist become. So, why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. Needed money because I needed the money. And I love it. Love, v v love, I love it. Look, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's practice together, right? Uh, let me see. Cindy, can you help me, please? You're going to be Melissa, right? And Rolando, you're going to be Chuck. Ready to practice? Ladies yes. and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we present tonight Rolando and Cindy. <laughs> Hello, Cindy, you begin. Hello. Hello. Ready for the conversation, Cindy? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, good. Let's go. One, two, three. <clears throat> Sashuk, where do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I, I uh, was I was born the I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In, in 1990, I went to the college sorry, here. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. 1990. Sorry. 1990. In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, uh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That interesting. So why did you become a uh, stylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... oh. Okay. Yeah, very good. Oh, the, the the hairstyle oh. is not very good, right? Now listen, this is hairstylist, hairstylist. And then here he it says, I was born there, right? And notice that Cindy say Los Angeles. Yes, you can say Los Angeles, no, no, no problem, right? You can say Los Angeles or Los Angeles. No problem, right? Okay, good. Now I need two more students. Victor, please, you're going to be Chuck. And let me see, Marleni. Marleni, you're going to be Melissa. Ready, Marleni? Okay. One, two, three. Marleni, ready? So, uh, so where, where did you go to grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born this too. I went did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. 
So, so why did you become a high high stealer? Hairs, hairs, hairs. No, listen, listen, hairs, hair, hair, hair stylist, hair stylist, mm -hmm. hair stylist. Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh, like uh, Marlene, like a Salvadorian say, huela, okay. De <laughs> horrible. <laughs> horrible. Horrible. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Victor. Now, the last practice, please. Uh, Alonso and Alicia. Alonso, of course, your chop, right? And Melissa, your your um no, no sorry. <laughs> Alicia, your Melissa, right? <laughs> Excuse me, Alicia. Okay. Okay, ready? One, yes. two, three. So oh, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. Um, what did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a earth tile? Because I need the money. I love it. Look. What do you think? Well, um Well, I will kill you. <laughs> I will kill you for this. <laughs> well, así dejémoslo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, listen, uh, yesterday, uh, well, yesterday and today, I'm, I'm checking that we have some troubles to, to, to say the years in, in English, right? So we're going to make a little practice with the year, right? Let me see. Okay. Uh, America was invaded, uh, no, sorry, was discovered, <laughs> discovered in what year? Yes, am I right? Christopher Columbus disco invaded, uh, 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 discovered America in 1492. Listen. 1492, okay? The French Revolution, when was the French Revolution? Let me see, who knows about history? Abel, do you know when was the, the French Revolution? No, you don't remember. It was in, in this time, listen, listen. 1789. Yes, very good, that's nice, listen. I remember this year because it's easy because you go seven, eight, nine. Look, seven, eight, nine. Cuando estaba en, en, en la escuela, yo me recuerdo que memoricé esta fecha porque es fácil. Siete, ocho, nueve, right? <laughs> seven, eight, nine. So the uh, French Revolution was in 1789. 1789, right? Okay, now. And then I was, the Beatles start singing, right? Uh, she love you, yeah, yeah, she love you, yeah. In 1963, right? She love you was released in 1963, right? El Salvador firmed the peace accords in Mexico when? 1992, correct, right? 1992. Good. And the year in the conversation is 1990. Listen, 1990, because it would say 99 is like 99, right? So in this case, we say the, the years in pairs, in pairs, right? What happened with the other year? Well, Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. 1492. 1789. 
Tú no tienes miedo, mi amor. 1963, 1992, 1990. Okay, now other years, for example, this is 1,800. 1,900, right? 2,000, right? And now this year, 2,020, right? In some cases, some people say 2020, but it's not common, right? Normally people say 2,020. Mm -hmm. After the the they call this YK. Después que pasamos del 2000, le llamaron a este fenómeno el YK. Si ustedes se recuerdan que todas las computadoras iban a, supuestamente a, a arruinarse, right? After the, the 1999, right? 1999, we have this year, 2000, right? Good. So, any question about the years? Questions? No question. No question. Yes, yes. I, come on, listen, listen. I have a question. Uh, quería escribir el de 1800 para solamente ver cómo se escribe, perdón, pero es que a veces cuando usted lo dice no logro. Ah, Nunca. ok. 1800, ok. Wait. okay. Wait. Por favor. No problem. Ah, eh, you mean 1800 de. Ajá. Ajá. 1000, un mil. 1000. Uh -huh. I will write it for you. Look. 1,900. 1,900. Okay. You don't say hundreds. No, it's only 100, right? Even mm -hmm. with 2,000, you don't say 2,000, 3,000. No, no, only 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. You never add S, right? Nunca se le agrega la S aquí, aunque sean más. Teacher. 1,900. Nine, no, 900, no, 800, sorry. Teacher. Give, give me a second, give me a second. 9,800, right? Sí, pero aplicaba porque es, teníamos 1,900. Uh -huh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. But it's the same here, right? Look. Okay. One, Teacher. Just give me a second, give me a second. I'll almost finish here. 1,900. 900, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Understand, mm -hmm. Alicia? Yes. Okay, Thank good. You. And uh -huh, Alfonso, Alfonso, tell me. Teacher, in the number Roman in English? Oh. Uh, well, they are the same. They are Roman number, right? Uh, like we say, for example, three. This is three, right? Uh, 50. Uh, 19. Okay. 19, so Nine. 19, oh, yeah. 19, right? Ah, 9 is this, right? 19, teacher. No. Sorry, give me a second. So this is uh, 3, 50, 19, and, and 9, right? So you use the Arabic numbers. They are in Spanish and in English, right? To refer to Roman numbers, right? Like e even Aztec number, right? <laughs> Un huevito, dos huevitos, tres huevitas. <laughs> eh, rayita. Cuatro huevitos, <laughs> tres rayitas. Okay, so you know the number, right? In Aztecs or Mayan? I don't remember, right? I need to go back to school, right? <laughs> okay, but, but uh, the Roman numbers are, are say like that. And also remember, we have sometimes troubles to pronounce this number, right? These are some of the most common mistakes we have, right? It's uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, right? And 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right? So 13, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know why they say the teenagers, teenagers, right? The teenagers, how do you say adolescente in English? Adolescente is teenager. Why teenager? Because it's teen, right? De los 13 a los 19, son teenager, lo que tienen la edad de los teen, because it's 13, 14, todos son teen, todos terminan en teen, por eso ellos dicen teenager, los que están en los tres, entre los 13 y los 19, ¿verdad? Muchos de por aquí todavía están en esa etapa, yo lo sé, sí. Ok, now, and you say this, 13, like cafetín, calcetín. Or corbatín, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Uh, okay, don't confuse. Don't confuse. Don't mix them, right? Like, for example, here, right? This is 1990. Because if you say 90, 99, it's el año 99, right? <laughs> no, it's 1990. 1990, okay? Good. Or we can say, uh, for example, 1330, right? 1330, right? Okay, understand? Okay, now let's continue with the class, right? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's Los Angeles. Okay. I came to... Sorry. Did, okay. was, and where? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present, plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. 
finally we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. Okay, so uh, please pay attention that this, did you wear a good student is incorrect, right? Did you wear a good student is incorrect. Pay attention to that, right? And notice how we use did and how we use the verb to be. Notice that when we use did, we only have a verb, right? Siempre que usamos el did, tenemos un verbo. Grow up, come, become, etc., etc., right? But when we use the verb to be, only the verb to be. We don't say how old were, how old were uh, go, or what was uh, drive, or how was eat. No, no, no. I mean, that's not correct. The bird to be is the bird to be is a part, right? And the auxiliary did is another different story, right? We can use both structures to describe personal thing, right? So we're going to make a practice, a very strong practice. Alonso, I need your help, please, Alonso. I will make some questions to you, Alonso, right? And later you're going to make this question to another student, right? Okay, now, eh, don't worry if you don't know the answer. No se preocupe si no sabe cómo responder. Yo le voy a ayudar a, a, a la respuesta. Alonso. Okay, listen. Okay. Where did you grow up, Alonso? Where did you grow up? I grew up, I grew up in San Salvador. Okay. And what do you do? What is your occupation, Alonso? I am teacher. Teacher. Why did you become a teacher? Why did you become a teacher? Um, because because I needed the money. <laughs> you needed the money. I, I needed the Está money. Otra respuesta. <laughs> no, but listen, as a teacher, you never get good money. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you made a mistake. <laughs> okay, come on, let's continue, right? And how old were you when you finished the university? How old were you when you finished the university? Um, I was 2012, not 20, and 2012. Difficult to calculate, right? <laughs> so invent, invent if you want. I was 2020. You, you were 20. 20, 20. 20 years, okay. 20 years. How about 20 years. I was 20. So tenía 20 años. I was 20. Ah, okay. 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 Uh -huh. And let me see. Mm, 
Did you like the university? Did you like the university? I understand, teacher. I mean, do you like is in present, right? Do you like pizza? Yes, I do, right? Now, in past, did you like the university? Le gustó, right? Did you like the university? I, I was. So remember this, I'm using did, Alonso. So you have to say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you very much, thank you very much. Now, Alonso, choose a big, uh, sorry, a student, right, in the group, and I need you to make only one question, only one question, right? Come on. Um, I, will, I will tell you the list. Uh, Alicia, Carolina, Billy, Cindy, Claudia, Josue, Abel, Lorena. No, Lorena, is the, the microphone is not working. Luis Carranza, Marleni, Monica, Rolando, and Victor. Those are the big, so, sorry, the, the students, sorry. You can make the question, Alonso. Okay. Uh, uh, Luisito. Luis. Mr. Carranza, Luis. please pay attention. Hi, teacher. Listen the question of Alonso. Okay. Okay. Where were you grew up? Again, repeat, repeat. Where you grew up? Where did? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Santa Tecla. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, excellent. Luis, yeah. now you're going to make the question, right? Listen. Okay. In the sentence, you say grow up, right? And in the answer, in past, you say grew, grew up. Grew, grew up. Grew, okay. grew, grew up. Grew. Grew up. Grew up. In past tense, right? Grew. In present, grew up. present is grow. Grow up. Grow up. Present. Grow past, up. Present. In past, okay. Grew. Grew up, right? Grew. Grew. Grew, yes. Now, please. Luis, make the question to another student, please. Okay. Uh, Alicia. Ready. My, okay. <laughs> Why? No, no, no. How old are you? No, no, no. Way. How old Wait. were you? Uh -huh. How old were you in 1998? 1998, Alicia. Yes. Who are you? How old were you, <laughs> were you in, in 1998? 1998. You can invent, Alicia, don't worry. You can invent. Así <laughs> como... Yeah. 22 years ago. I was, sí, I was 20. Era 20. 20. No. I was 20. Ah, okay. Only like that, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Una forma, una forma fácil de preguntarle a una mujer sin decirle tan groseramente. ¿eh? Yes, no, never say how old are you. Never, never say that, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now let's read the commentaries, right? Let's read the commentaries. Uh, Alonso, where uh, here, right? Where did, where did, Alonso, can you check this? Where did you grow up? Right? Okay, teacher. I, I, will, I will copy this. Listen, listen. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Present, right? Present is 
grow up. Past. Grew up. This is an irregular verb, right? So when you make the question, because you're using the auxiliary did, you have to say, where did you grow up? In present, right? Why in present? Because you're using the auxiliary did. But when you answer, you don't use the auxiliary. So for that reason, you have to say in past, I grew up. Hmm? So the question is, um, the question is grow up. And the answer is grew up, right? Don't forget that. Now, uh, I, ah, this is correct. Look, I grew up in San Salvador. That's correct. What was your major in school? I was, um, I imagine this is a physical education, right? I was major in, I don't know, no sé si en Estados Unidos hay una, una major o una, una carrera en, en, en physical education. I'm not sure, but let's say, right? Okay, uh, let's say yes, right? I had a major in, in physical education, I huh? suppose. Now, Abel, when did you arrive? I arrived, ah, that's correct. Look, arrived in present here in the question because you're using this and arrived in the answer. What was the problem with the car? The car was without a front door, okay. Uh, let me see. ¿Quién escribió esto? Let me check. Roxana Lisset. No, no, I don't know, Roxana. Okay, let's go to Carolina. What did you eat? What did you eat yesterday? Uh -huh. I ate lasagna. This is important. Look. Es importante que ustedes aprendan cómo usar los verbos en preguntas. Okay. Y luego responder en pasado. ¿Sí? Porque eh, este es un error bien común, ¿verdad? Que, que cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés... Eh, confundimos, ¿no? ponemos aquí el presente, aquí el pasado, pero aquí sí está bien elaborado, Carolina, la felicito. Ok, now, where was she in the morning? She was in the park, ok, y aquí también, aquí no podemos meter otro verbo, solo estamos diciendo ella estuvo, ya, o sea, no, no es que ella estaba haciendo algo, no, ella ahí estuvo en el parque y punto, ok. Now, let's see with this. Eh, Quiero ver quién escribió acá. Urania, no, Arely, no, no. No es de los nuestros, Carlos. Rolando, ok. Where did you go to study? In... Oh, ok, good. Pay attention, Rolando. Uh, aquí sí es, se puede hacer esto. Usar un verbo y luego un infinitivo. Pero no es necesario porque, este, déjeme ver. Ah, pero ya le entendí la pregunta. ¿A dónde fue? Eh, ¿A qué lugar fue? ¿Estudió? Quiero ver si tiene lógica. ¿En qué lugar estudió? ¿En qué lugar ah, estudió inglés? Sí, esa es la pregunta. Ah, pues sí, tiene razón. Entonces sí está bien hecha la pregunta. Where did you go to, to school? We say, where did you go to school? Where did you go to... Sí, bueno, la vamos a dejar. Yo creo que sí está bien. Pero comúnmente es, where did you study? Where did you study English, right? Es como que más común. Es decir, where did you study? Ahora, si usted quiere saber dónde, en qué lugar estudió, en qué universidad, en qué escuela, so dice, where did you go to school? O where did you go to university? Está preguntando a qué universidad fue o a qué escuela fue, ¿sí? Pero aquí sí es okay. un poquito más... La, la oración está correcta, eh, Rolando, pero es más fácil decir, where did you study English, right? Where did you study? I study English in El Salvador, right? Okay. Incorporate English. Okay. Was and where. Aquí hay más comentarios. Me interesan. Vamos a ver si son de los nuestros. Eh, Oscar, no. No, no, no es de los nuestros. Yes. Okay, good. Eh, por ahí tengo un mensaje. Vamos a leerlo. The math, right? The correct answer is I was 11. Ah, ok. <ríe> sí, está bien. <ríe> ya hizo sus cálculos ahí, Alicia. <ríe> oh, yo creo que era, yo creo que se equivocó. Yo creo que eran dos años. Two years. 
Yeah. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Let's go to the knowledge, knowledge check, right? Knowledge check. Listen, where were you born? It says, uh, unscramble the words to create the questions. So here, the first thing you have to do is to separate the yes, no question, right? Aquí lo que tenemos que hacer para hacer este ejercicio es separar las preguntas con el was, where y las preguntas con el did, ¿sí? Y nos vamos a dar cuenta que es fácil porque con el did hay un verbo a la par y con el was solo es el was o el where, right? Ok. Uh, ¿Todos ya hicieron este ejercicio? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, please. En este, en este ejemplo, en la número uno, Mm -hmm. Obligatoriamente se tiene que utilizar el did. No puede ir el verbo en pasado en lugar del did. Eh, no, no puede ir el verbo en pasado. No, definitivamente no, porque la regla es clara. Si usted usa el did, el verbo tiene que ir en presente. Así es de okay. sencillo. Así no podemos usarlo en pasado. No puedo, no puedo obviar el did. No, no puedo obviar. Hacer la pregunta, where grew up you, por sí, ejemplo. Sí, porque está hablando de, de, de una acción, de crecer. Pues crecer es una acción. Bueno, estoy creciendo, estoy haciendo una acción, entonces no puedo obviarlo. Así es que ni modo, ¿verdad? Teacher. Sí, ok. Sí, sí. ¿Otra pregunta? Teacher, Rolando. Yes, Ajá, Rolando. Ahí el where, cuando es lugar, vea. Sí, sí. Auxiliar, verbo, complemento. Cor no, es WH word. Vamos a escribirlo acá. ¿va? WH word. Sorry. Plus. Auxiliary. Verbo. Plus. Ah, no. No, eh, no, no, no. Subject. Oh, eh, eh, subject. Plus. The verb, right? Es the verb. Y no al final sería. Plus complement. Complement, right? Y el, el Solo que en, le pregunto, perdón, right? en este caso no tiene complemento. Where the... Ah, no, no, in this case no, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, ok. Ahí. Ok, uh, entonces lo hacemos. ¿Me ayudan? Yes. Yes, ok, good. Now, volunteers, number Ahí. one. Ok, Rolando. Ahí. Please. Sí, ahí sí. Where did You grow up. Es grow o grew. Grow up. No, es no. No, 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 perdón. <laughs> Teacher. Ok, hasta ahí. <laughs> ok. Excelente. Esa es la pregunta, Rolando. Para usted, grow o grew? Gra uh -huh. Uh, grow, grow, okay. grow, grow up, grow up, grow, grow up, grow up. Sorry. okay, grow Good. up, that's it, right? thank you, Rolando, no, that's yes. correct, perfect, yes, okay, number two, please, volunteers, number two, volunteers, Josue, oh. Claudia, Cindy, Is Carolina, teacher. yes, me, teacher, me, me, who's me, please tell me, Alonso, me, Luis, Luis, please, please, come on, Luis, Okay. How old were you? Yes, I'm in the year 2000. Only that? Yes. Okay. And the question mark, sign. right? And yes, question, question mark. Question mark, yes. How old were you in the year 2000, right? Okay, let's continue. Number three, please volunteers, number three. Tell me your name. Uh -huh. Alicia, 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 come on, Alicia. Go ahead, Alicia. Okay, when did you? To study English. When did you? Begin 
to study, study English. English. Aquí sí se puede el infinitivo, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo lo indica, el verbo lo necesita. Begin, comenzar a... Ok, ahí sí lo necesitamos. Ok, now the last one, please. Por When ahí, were ¿sí? you born? Uh, me le quitaron puesto ahí. Uh, ¿Quién me está hablando? Please help me. Ya, yeah, teacher. Eh, Alonso. Alonso, ok, Alonso. Come on, Alonso. When. When. Where. You born. When were you born? Ok. Now, let's check it out. Perfect, right? Congratulations. 25 points. Ok, good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go to the... Where did you go to right? elementary school? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. High, junior high, places, classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Now, I would like for you to. Good. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. Classroom, college. Elementary, gym, high, history, junior high, lunch room, math, physical education, playground, science. Okay, good. In this case, uh, listen. The classes are the subject, la materia, right? Here we have history, math, physical education, and science, right? Now, in the school, right? Uh, elementary is the first time uh, for, for uh, it goes for first grade, the padre primer grado, del primero al cuarto, creo. Okay, let me see. And Uh, como primer ciclo, teacher. Que, no, no, elementary son los, los de, quiero ver, quiero ver, del primero, a, del primero, no, parvulario es más atrás de elementary. A sexto de, creo el, que es. De primero al sexto, ¿verdad? Sí. Y, y junior, junior sí. high es preescolar. Pre Ajá, preescolar. Eh, antes, séptimo, el parvular es preescolar. Séptimo y octavo. Junior high es séptimo y octavo. Ajá. Y high. Es noveno, décimo, onceavo y doceavo. De los... Es el bachillerato. Bachillerato y noveno grado, junto. <ríe> Eso es el high school, ¿verdad? Right? Ah, okay. high. High, high school. Good. And eh, places, you know, it's uh, classroom, gym, uh, lunch, lunch room, playground, que es eh, la zona de juego, donde están los columpios, los, los swings, right? Los, los slides, los deslizaderos, etcétera, etcétera. That's the playground. Good. Any question about this? Okay, so let's go and finish the last part. Let's go and finish the last part. The Ricky Martin, right? Living la vida loca. Okay, listen, please. That album was called Ricky. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, 
He appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, now I want to make some questions about this video, right? But I don't know how to escape. Okay, good. After this success, he moved back. Just give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now questions. When was Ricky Martin born? Volunteers, please. When was Ricky Martin born? born he was born in san juan puerto rico uh -huh. but when oh sorry on december uh, 24 24th 19 1971 okay good and you answer the, the same the next question i will you say where was he born and you say puerto rico right san juan puerto rico Okay, thank you. Next question is, how was Ricky Martin when he joined uh, Menudo? Subete a mi moto. Remember, right? Remember that? Okay, now, how old was Ricky Martin when he joined Menudo? Questions? Volunteers? Open the microphone. Come on, open the microphone. I was five he, year. He was, right? He was <laughs> five year. Don't say I because <laughs> he. He or I don't know, she, right? <laughs> he he was born, right? I, I mean he joined Menudo when he was 12, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Why did he move? to Mexico. Why did he move to Mexico? He... Why did he move to Mexico? Because he was very frustrated, right? Frustrated. So after that, he moved to Mexico. Good. And how many years was Ricky Martin in Menudo? How many years was Ricky Martin, Martin sorry, in Menudo? Look at this. Five, Five years. Five year, right? And what was the name of his first English album? What was the name of his first English album? Living La Vida Loca. No, no, the album. Uh, you like the song, right? You like the song, eh? <laughs> Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Uh -huh. And uh, what was his biggest hit? It's big, it's living big. la vida loca. Living la vida loca. Okay, very good. So now you can make this, right? The knowledge check. With this information, you can answer all about Ricky Martin, right? 
Rolando told me uh, he has a big poster of Ricky Martin in his letter, right, Rolando? No. Perdón, teacher. You have a big poster of Ricky Martin. No. No. Pero no. sí. Dance. No. Dance. 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 Very good, Dance. Right? Dance. Okay, good. Yeah. Now to finish, we're going to play a game. We're going to play mimics, right? Okay. Now uh, let me close this. The same, right? Girls versus boys. Girls versus boys. Okay, now, please, look at me. I will make mimics, and you're going to tell me this. Uh, what is what I'm showing you, right? Okay, look at me, please. Observe, please. Football. football soccer ball ball, ball. 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 okay girls girls one point girls one point right okay next one look at the teacher please piano piano the boys have one one point right Ghost. Spider. Spider. Spider, right? The boys. Two <laughs> points for the boys, right? Let's continue. Queen. No se ve. Teacher. Teacher, se te acabó la cámara. Oh, really? No. <laughs> now? Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay, okay, good. No. Bird. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. Ah, se in Spanish, Alicia. Ah, uh, chapotear o nadar? Fingers. Octopus. Octopus. Ah, Very good. Teacher. Okay, the boy, ah. right? <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. Drink. Bed. Ah, acostarse. Um, Cama. Almohada. Aha. Uh -huh. Almohada in English. Almohada in English. Pillow. Pillow. The girls. Pillow. Okay, next one. Watermelon. 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 The boys, right? And look at this, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Next one. Look. Cangrejo is. How do you say cangrejo in English? Crab. Crab. The boys again, right? Boys, you are very good, right? With this. Okay. Observe, please. Kangar. Kangaroo, the girls. Okay. No more, right? We finish here because, because of the time. Maybe tomorrow we, we can make more games, right? Remember that tomorrow is the last class. And tomorrow only the exam. Mañana vamos a hacer solo el examen final. Vamos a explicarlo paso por paso. Okay? Así que por favor no, no falten. Es la última clase. Así que no van a faltar. Y... Uh, Tengo entendido que tienen hasta el viernes para terminar toda la plataforma, ¿sí? Así que eh, espero que... Ajá, Rolando, tell me. Teacher, perdón. Este, ahí mandaron un mensaje el chico que... Uh -huh. me, yo no sé si entendí mal o qué, que iba a haber clase el viernes o que tenemos el, hasta el viernes para no, terminar no. la plataforma. No, que tienen hasta el viernes para terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Hasta las 12 de la noche. Sí. Okay. okay. Pero no necesidad no, de llegar de... hasta las 12, ¿verdad? Ustedes terminenlo yeah. ya. <laughs> okay. I finish. Okay, good. <laughs> Congratulations. That's it, right? Okay, class. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have yeah, a good night. You. Thank bye -bye. you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.